power I complex. I felt like God. I humble myself. I, I'm just doing a job. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's years ago. I don't remember. <laughs> I actually really like that. I'm gonna kill her. That's actually f <laughs> cute. It's so, so cute. cute. <laughs> Hi, welcome to a new episode of Two People Talking. I'm your host, Niha Chu, and I'm here today with Lily Pichu. I'm Lily, or Lily Pichu as my 12-year-old mistakenly made that name <laughs> and I can't change it anymore. Oh no. You were a mod in the Pokemon forum. Uh, <laughs> That's so funny. What was your experience? In. I used to like go on it and um, write Pokemon fan fiction. Oh. I, I, it's crazy. You can read. You can go on my old fanfiction.net account. It's like one when I was like literally 12 years old, and I got modded because I was so active on the forum. And I was like, "Hey, make sure not to use spam and this blah 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 blah." Okay, <laughs> hey guys, do the blah blah blah. I was like a hall monitor. <laughs> like going to people's posts. I'm like, "Hey, you're not allowed to like do this. Please make sure." I'll go ping a mod right now, like that oh kind of stuff. God. It's like very precocious. And then you got modded. And they modded me. And oh I'm like, okay, God. I'm 12 years old. This is the most amount of power I've had in my entire life. Did you get like a power I complex? I felt like God. But yeah. I, no, no, no. I, even at 12, I was like, I humble myself. I, I'm just doing a job. You know? <laughs> yeah. You're like, this is just the internet. Yeah, it's, it's not that deep. deep. Well, no, no, no. I was so proud of it that yeah. Sunday when I was going to church with my mom, mm -hmm. I was trying to explain to her, yeah, mom, I just got modded on a Pokemon forum. And then she's like, <laughs> What? What? She's and like, she's like I, I didn't understand a single word. Yes. Right, and I'm like, oh, said. a forum is where people gather online to talk to people. But like, and she was like, you're talking to strangers on the internet. Like, it, it doesn't get there of to course. parents. What's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite in yeah. general? Yeah. I would say Umbreon. Umbreon. Yeah. Oh, I see. I totally see it. <laughs> yeah. I do see that. I really like Umbreon. What about you? Um, actually, Sylveon is one of my Sylveon? favorites. Sylveon is so cute. You know, comfy mm -hmm. with the flower. I can't believe there's a Pokemon called Comfy that <laughs> yeah. blew my mind. And it's like this little fairy creature with a ring of flowers. And I'm like, this is so lily coated. I need to like this. You are now my new favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Peaches suck. Pichu's stats are one of the worst ever. Like, no defense. I tried to do this, like, Pichu only challenge, only six Pichus, but they died so easily. Oh <laughs> They're like baby far. Pokemon when, like, oh this kind of blows. What? Oh, the f this. <laughs> I should have warned you. <laughs> so, we are going to have our barista come in, oh. and she's going to introduce the first segment of the show, the first game that we're going to be playing. Pokemon Masters, and we are going to be clay modeling each other's Pokemon. Okay. So if, like, obviously, we Wait, both said each Mimikyu. Others? Yeah, so I will make a Pokemon for you, and you will make a Pokemon for me. We're gonna make a new Pokemon. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, we were speaking earlier, so I think like Dark Ghost. Dark Ghost, okay. Um, I think. Just take the black now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go Just on. Like, um, I think my weakness would be fire because like that's like the most like sure. you know makes sense yeah. uh fire burns um any other attributes or should i just go what i no, think what... i think i i think i wanted to give you as much creative freedom as possible i appreciate that yeah <laughs> what about uh, you mine is i like fairy ghost fairy ghost okay but um something flower maybe mm -hmm. Dude, I'm, I'm, oh, this is gonna be so hard. I know. Let's try it. I had like a vision in my head. Yeah. But it's not coming out. Right? You had a vision and then you <laughs> touched the clay and you're like, oh, never mind. It's not coming out the way I want it to. All right, so we're going to reveal our Pokemon to each other now. All right, you go first. I go first, okay. So this oh. is my, it's a little butterfly. I tried to make dots in it, it didn't really work. Uh, but it's sitting on a flower, and if you like look, it comes <gasps> oh, out of it. That's really cute. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I see the vision. Though. You see what I was trying to I go do, for, right? I see. She's I see suffering. The vision. She's a little melted, but like that was kind of that's kind of part of it, I think. It's like I wanted her to look at the sky yeah. and cry. But she has like really pretty like flower petal like hand. Not I love it. Because you said you like pink. I actually really like that. I'm gonna kill her. Okay. <laughs> wait. <laughs> the entire room just wait. No, don't do that. Alright, Lily. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna kill her. You're gonna kill her? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, she's like really hard. Oh, I'm so weak. I thought it'd be more dramatic than that, but it's like a slow death, you know? Oh my god, it's like a slow, <gasps> painful death. Oh, look at her. Oh, that's her dying animation. She melts. You into made the her die. Yes. I saw you acted in one of the Genshin characters. Yeah. I, I, th I thought that was so cool. Tell me a little bit about like your voice acting. Like, how did you get into it? What made you want to do it? How is it like, on a day-to-day -day <laughs> basis? I started on the internet when I was like way younger. Mm -hmm. And people were like, oh my God, you sound like a cartoon character. You should try voiceover. And that's where the idea kind of got right. implemented into my head. Then I took some classes and I was like, oh, wow, I actually really like this. I oh, want to do it. That's so I so did fun. classes, workshops. Thank you, Streaming, for funding my workshops and classes. And eventually got on audition rosters. Mm -hmm. and. Genshin. Cool. Is that like your like biggest role that you did? I would say Genshin is my biggest mm. role, yeah. Was that your favorite role? What was your favorite role? My favorite role... I have a soft spot for... Um, her name is Mooney from mm -hmm. D4DJ, which is the first anime I've ever dubbed. Oh. Because it was the first anime I've ever dubbed, like, obviously that's the soft spot, right? Yeah. And she has like... She's super cute and she loves drawing and super... Like, oh. I relate to her a lot. That's yeah. so cute that you got to like. I just got chills. Like you got to, <laughs> you got to voice someone that you relate to. That's I love yeah. No, that. that's the best because then you can kind of like pull your own feelings into the acting part of voice acting and stuff. Yeah, I love that. Sayu too. To be fair, like I, they had like 9 a.m. sessions and mm -hmm. I would come into the session tired, and they're like, "This is perfect. She's <laughs> really sleepy. So any yawns you do, please just keep it. <laughs> just do it." Yeah. Just so one of the, the mic, yawns though. were real. <laughs> Going into one of your other talents that I'm a big fan of, uh, your yeah, music. There's a Twitter account. <laughs> okay, they like update what you play on Spotify, and yeah. I like, see like, oh, she's listening to my music again. Like, isn't she tired yeah. of that song? <laughs> no, like you played it so many times, and I'm like. I <laughs> yeah, your music. I listen to your music on stream. Oh, like, it's the only music I listen to. That's like, when, really sweet. Whenever people ask me, like, do you have a stream playlist? Like. Lily Pichu, Aww. just Lily Pichu. No, I, I saw the updates and I'm like, oh, she listens to it a lot. That means yeah. a lot, thank you. No, I, I really like your music. Literally the only like... reason I, why I agreed to come here today is because of that, actually. So really? It, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, well, thank you for coming. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of your music. I thank think it's you. so cool. Um, so I want to talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. um, like first, um, I mean, you said like, you were forced to play the piano when yes, you were younger. Yes, when I was four years old. Let me tell you about Asian parenting. <laughs> my dad, like, you have to learn piano. Oh my God. You know, but in retrospect, I'm glad they forced me. Mm -hmm. Do you still enjoy it? Yeah, I do enjoy to? it. So basically, like, I was forced to play classical. Mm -hmm. Then, like, 14, 15 years old, you can't force teenagers to do stuff, right? Yeah. So at that point, I'm like, I want to stop lessons. And I stop lessons, mm -hmm. but then thankfully, I'm like, oh, wow, I love video game music. I want to play that instead. Mm -hmm. And that kind of saved my interest in music. Do yeah. you, like, know what your first, like, video game song was that you learned? That, like, got me into video yeah. game music. It was Simple and Clean by Kingdom Hearts. Oh, the Kingdom Hearts soundtrack is mm -hmm. so beautiful. It's really good. The game makes no sense like when you when you actually look at it objectively like the plot of kingdom hearts is so confusing i know but like we're, we're all eating it up oh but the, <laughs> we love it. yeah the soundtrack is gorgeous yeah. the art's gorgeous i don't care i don't really care when and what made you start com like composing, composing your own music yeah so i've always composed throughout mm -hmm. my life like you know silly little songs on piano mm -hmm. and then eventually i'm like you know what, what if i like take it a next step. Oh, I want to make my own mm -hmm. melody and songs. Then, oh, I want to add lyrics to this. That just seemed like a natural like evolution. Like, have you made a music video? Uh, I have. I'm filming my first IRL one, uh -huh. which is like super different from anything I usually do because I'm very shy usually. Mm -hmm. Usually it's all like art based, right? Yeah. So it's been a cool experience. Oh my God, yeah, that's really exciting. <laughs> so I'm, like, oh, oh. I'm so okay. excited to see that. <laughs> yeah, no, I told them like, please put a filter on the camera, like, or the video. Make me look like those Korean, like, you know those people in K-drama where they have like, like beautiful skin? Like flawless, you like airbrush. You should tell them to do that to us too, by the <laughs> yeah, way. Yeah, like, I agree. flawless airbrush skin. Can we get like a filter, Can we get a filter? On, on the show? That would be amazing. <laughs> if you look at like K-pop yeah. videos and stuff. They're all, all like airbrush, airbrush. exactly. Okay. The video's gonna live on. Yeah. Yeah. Forever, but we won't. We'll die one day. Yeah. Yes. And so will our skin. Exactly. Do you want to eventually move on to making music for games? If you did, what genre would that game be? Do you know? Honestly, I would 
really love to compose for like a visual novel. I think that'd be oh. cool because they can do like only piano pieces, which I yeah. think I'm the best at. Yeah. So yeah. other than that. Yeah, you are. No, yeah. I'm not the yeah. best at, but like yeah. in my list of things I can do that's like <laughs> oh, I see. better than the other because I have to hire producers to do like beats and stuff. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. I do also think that visual novels, the music plays so much into that. Yeah. Yeah. So and it's all like you know, the yeah, vibes, yeah, it's, it's like, the vibes. Right? I know what yeah. you mean, yeah. Coffee shop vibes. Yeah, for sure. You have a song called, If There Was a Zombie Apocalypse, I'd Let My Dog yeah. Eat Me. How did you come up with that title? Oh, I mean, okay. first of all, same. <laughs> but how did you? <laughs> I mean, like, you see it yourself. You, yeah. I mean, you probably thought, like, if there was a world ending event, like, would I let my pet eat me for sustenance? Yeah. And I was like, you know, I would do that for yeah. them. And then I'm like, that's that's a really funny like phrase. It if is. there were a zombie apocalypse, I'd let my dog eat me. Yeah. Oh, I love that. No, because yeah, 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 same. Yeah. Same, obviously. Yeah, right? who wouldn't? I know. You right? would be a monster if you I'm going to die anyway. Exactly. I just want her to eat me. Yeah. What is your favorite piece of music that you have ever composed? It's so hard. Every time I get asked that, I'm like, oh. I can imagine. I, I feel like Last Cup of Coffee has like a special place in my heart because. It's my favorite. <laughs> because, uh, you know, Michael plays saxophone for that, right? He did? Yeah, he actually recorded saxophone for oh. that. And I wrote the saxophone part for him. So it's like, you know, it's That's like very so cute. Sweet. Yeah, actually, every time I listen to the saxophone part, I just get reminded of how hard he practiced for it. He practiced that so much. Did he play saxophone before? Yeah, so he used okay. to play a high school band saxophone. Mm. Yeah, and I'm like, I'd be, I think it'd be really cute to incorporate him somehow. So Yeah, yeah and, and also, he practiced for it. Oh. You know, he practiced so much like I would just hear him playing saxophone just practicing mm -hmm. the song you know? that makes the song 10 times better I know like and then for my concert he like went on stage and played the solo oh for God. me too and he practiced a lot for that too yeah. also it's a, it's about we're all gonna die one day and I think it's like mm -hmm. a message everyone can relate to like, yeah you know, everyone are like most of your songs about these topics because you know you have the zombie apocalypse I like to stay in my bed and look at the ceiling and think about my life mm -hmm. and like how everything's gonna end one Honestly, day same. right who yeah. doesn't it's like yeah. all <clears throat> existentialism and stuff like that mm -hmm. so I'm like Ooh, I gotta treasure the time I have left. Yeah, I'm gonna write a song about it because I need to release these feelings somewhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's a really good way to release these feelings, and I think it's so funny that all these songs are like, you know, happy. sweet, happy, <laughs> happy, but then like, yeah, like you. People look into have told it. me that because like all yeah. my songs have like these sweet vocals, and then you listen to yeah. the lyrics, I'm like, oh, it's kind of like sad. Yeah, I love that. I, mean, I, I love that too. Yeah. So. Bell just went off. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my here. god. Okay, so for the next segment, we are going to play Name That Lily Tune, where we're going to test Lily's knowledge on her songs. Gee, I hope this doesn't come off as egotistical. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't. Okay. Like, it, I, it, if anything, it'll be impressive. <laughs> Shut it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's years ago, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm so stressed. <laughs> a vision, that's my answer. I saw. Maybe this is just a rough start. We'll yeah. get better. Yeah, oh my god. So, I can't believe I thought this would be so easy. And I can't believe I got my own song wrong. I think that happens. Like, I've been to so many concerts where the artists will like forget lyrics, you know? It happens. Yeah, because you, you spend so much time with the song and then and you it, get sick of it. Yeah, or even it's... like you spend time on a different song. And three, then you... and it's been like three years. Yeah. You know? It doesn't matter. That's yeah. Cool. Don't stream your night. Yeah. That one is your biggest one, right? Yeah, by far. Yeah. It's like, I peaked with that song. Is it's that crazy? Is that one of your first ones? Uh, first one that I've sang. I see. Yes. Yeah. That's the vision. Nice. Yeah, vision. These are like the instrumentals are hard because I yeah. that was before Dreamy Night, mm -hmm. so I, it's like so old. it's like so old. Do you do your own cover art? Like looking at the so cover? some of them like the instrumentals you've seen those were my drawings, mm -hmm. but later on I started to outsource a bit more because. Okay. There's so many talented artists out there, right? Yeah. Like, you guys can do this so much better than I can. I'd rather pay you. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that, but it's always nice to like have other artists yeah. involved. I think collaborating is really fun. Yeah. yeah. You get to work with different artists and animators. That's Sunshine and Butterflies, right? Oh, 
We'll see. And I recognize that scratchy sound and mm. the bell tone. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That is cute. That's such a cute cover as well. A fan drew this uh -huh. on the mask and kind of used this as cover art. Oh, and then they were like, that. oh, of course. I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really good. Yeah, no, I have no idea. Uh, Wait, is the Minecraft one? The Waters one? I'm gonna say Waters. Some unknown Waters. Yeah! I made that thinking like, I wanna make a song that would belong in Minecraft. Mm. They never used it. I think it would though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you, we should make a mod. <laughs> Guys, if you see this, make a mod. Please, I wanted, I <laughs> love Minecraft music, something. you know? It's so like calming mm -hmm. and peaceful. Yeah, cause I know it's like very nostalgic for a lot of people Yeah, well. I bet, I bet if you grow up with Minecraft, yeah, yeah, if I heard like the first note of the Minecraft song, I would be transported. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You already said earlier that you like to draw when you're happy and do music when yeah, you're sad. Yeah, I'm pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like how you express yourself, I guess? I think so, yeah. Because yeah. like when you're sad, I feel like words come out a little easier. So lyric writing becomes a little easier. Mm -hmm. Not easier, but you know. But when you're happy, it's like, oh, I just want to draw colorful things and stuff like that. So your paintings are all very happy? Sometimes. <laughs> Even when I'm happy, it's sometimes like, I paint like sad looking stuff. I'm like, what's wrong with me? It's like how your music sounds happy. Yeah, but then it, it, the lyrics sad, yeah. and then with the with the with the painting, it's like the Maybe other way. Maybe it's around. the opposite. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's funny. I never yeah. thought of it that way. Yeah. You have a podcast where you Oh yeah, where you I know, paint with you people. Paint. You should come on it sometimes. I'd love to, yeah. But um what like inspired you to do that? Uh well, I like podcasts, but I felt like everyone has a podcast and mm. I wanted to be like, I want to do something while talking, I mm -hmm. guess, you know? Sometimes it's easy to like go with the flow when you have an activity mm -hmm. and like painting's perfect because like, I, you paint I, and then I you paint. can have people, And yeah. it's fun. I think even mm -hmm. if you don't know how to paint, just putting colors down, even, you know? Yeah, for It's just sure. fun. Do you like keep the paintings? Yeah, so I keep yeah. everyone's painting. And oh if the God. guest wants their own painting or mm -hmm. my painting or whatever, we'll send it to them after making a copy. Oh, cute. So sometimes people have wanted their painting or yeah. like what I painted for them or whatever. And they yeah. take it home. Yeah. Oh, it's that's cute. so cute. As long as I can make a copy of it because mm -hmm. I want to remember, you know. Do you display them somewhere? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's so <laughs> it's cute. in the background. Yeah. You can see every painting. I actually wore a pastel thing today because mm -hmm. I knew you were going to be in a black. <laughs> I was gonna wear all black, and I'm like, no, Nikki's gonna wear. Black. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the opposite. Contrast us. <laughs> it's not very hard to guess. What color I'll be wearing? Yeah, that's cute. yeah. Oh, there's another thing. Our next game we're playing is Happy Little Blues. Okay, so. We will take turns painting on a canvas. Oh, fun. Um, we have 10 minutes in total. Okay. I will have 40 seconds okay. and you will have 20 seconds Got it. each. And then we swap. Something about that doesn't seem very easy, cool, <laughs> but that's totally cool. Yeah, no, I, I know, get I it. I think it's because you're more advanced. No. <laughs> you just, your job is to fix my mistakes. No, there are no mistakes. I'm not, I'm not fixing anything. It's a collaboration, yeah. right? So we're going to be painting blue. Oh my god, I love Blue so much. Oh, <laughs> he's being led by his hand. Yes. That's actually f cute. So, That's so cute. cute. We had a special moment on my announcement oh video. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> oh. All right. All right, um, so yeah, we have a live model. Um, yeah, no, that's for our live painting. Are okay, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> oh man. Oh jeez. Okay, this is a, it's okay. It's a sketch, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sketch. Yeah. That oh, was so okay. little time. Okay, okay. Time for me to swap. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you're all good. That. You got this. Jacket. She's doing like she's great. She's uh doing the okay. body for me. That's okay. great. Okay. I will finish off where she <laughs> left off. I need more water. Yeah. Oh my God. Again, we have like again, zero time. Zero time. Um, you got this. Okay. Um, do the jacket. Yeah. Slow feet. That's and up then, to interpretation anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no fine. One, it's no good. No one sees it. Okay. This is all this. It's abstract. Yeah. <laughs> it's abstract. 
<laughs> Wait, only eight minutes. Eight should, minutes? Should I do the face? I didn't oh. even get to do anything. Okay. <laughs> oh, Yo, man. I like it. Let's make a nightmare core. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. Do I make, make it a melt? Oh, yeah, yeah. Make it creep. Yeah. We actually really dig this. He's not gonna like it, though. <laughs> this is so good. Do you like creepy stuff, Lou? <laughs> yeah, okay. Purple everywhere to make it <laughs> creepier. <laughs> Every drawing I do turns out creepy. I don't intend it to be, but it's just what happens. I think I just like creepy stuff. Me like too. I yeah. There's like yeah. something about it. It's morbidly fascinating. Yeah. yeah. And like it's such a like deep emotion, you know, like like being scared. It's like so primal. <laughs> I love it. Do you like horror movies? Yeah. I love horror movies. Have you seen Talk To Me? Yes, I love that one. It's actually so good. I always have to bring it up. It's my favorite. What are your favorite, like, creepy things? Like, mm. movies, games, <laughs> your drawings? <laughs> I like um, a lot of Asian horror movies. Oh, They're very good, right? They are. They're, like, very, they, like, they don't shy away from things. I know. I really like that. I find a lot of horror movies have a lot of tragic undertones like you know like a curse born from something wrong that's happening yeah. to someone or whatever <laughs> this is this is wild man this is wild i didn't expect him to look like this um, but i like it it's good no me too this is don't peek <laughs> no peeking no peeking wait i think we got his eyes like we really did we did we got his eyes yeah i'm just gonna hmm. oh my god it's so dry <laughs> He kind of looks like Mimikyu. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Mimikyu is adorable. Um, I don't even know. Maybe a bit of blue light just to color that part here. Yeah. Oh, that's way too, too light, but... But that looks like a mustache. Oh no. <laughs> I gave you a little mustache. But honestly, kind of cute. You look cute with a mustache. <laughs> Want to know how I got this smile? <laughs> blue, are your arms tired? Oh, it's okay, you can put them down. I think we got we got the, the overall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of messed up, but I'm not gonna lie, it's really messed up, so. Oh my God. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay, I think it's time for us to sign our names. <laughs> perfect. Okay, are you ready? Okay, three, two, one. Da -da. Da -da. Oh, <laughs> he likes it. Isn't this so really cool? got your eyes. Yeah. yeah. No, it was either gonna go cute or like creepy. He chose creepy. He chose creepy. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like our? <laughs> Chat, what do you think about our beautiful painting? Write it in the comments. Let us know. I think we did great. <laughs> also, thank you so much, Blue, for being our yeah, you're our a great, model. great model. Inspiration, our muse for today. Thank you, Lily, for being here, for joining me on this beautiful adventure today. That was, that was wild. <laughs> felt like I picked up the paintbrush and the bell dinged, and I'm like, what did I, I do? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely not enough time. That was funny, though. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think, that's we think we did some great All things work. considered, 10 minutes, you know? Yeah. I mean, not, you know, yeah, 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 just go, yeah, cool. Yeah, I think we did great. That was two people talking today. Wait, that's it? Yeah. We're leaving? We're leaving. Oh, cool. All right. Lily Pichu. <laughs> Lily Pichu, everyone. <laughs> and blue, and blue. And thank you so much for uh, Alienware and Team Liquid to sponsor this video and chat. Let us know how we did. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.